Dr. Blade. I want to talk to you about some course management. You know, I always focus on course management. This course management has to do with the proper tee boxes. So the other day, I was playing behind the group and they were playing from the tips. Now granted, the course that I normally play is about 68 to 6,900 yards. And then at this time of the year, it plays a little bit longer. If the wind's behind you, you can get a benefit. If the wind's in your face, it's gonna punish you, depending on which hole you are, you're on. So they was playing from the tips, and I'm telling you, only one of the persons in the group could probably hit it over 240 yards. Why would you punish yourself? Pay 60, 70, 80, 90 dollars and upwards to go play a course, and you're hitting woods and hybrids into your approach shots. Here's a tip. You want to be able to hit anywhere from a 9-iron to a 6-iron into your approach shots. That's going to get, let you know you're playing within your proper distance. First thing you have to do is change your mindset. There is no such thing as a senior's tee, a ladies' tee, or anything like that. Tee boxes are set up according to index, according to slope ratings, and those type things. You can go online before you even get to the golf course, and you can pull the scorecard up, and you can look and see how the course is playing, the slope rate, and everything else. If your buddies continue to want to play from the tips and struggle all day long, let them do that. You can just come up to a next tee box, and you can start enjoying yourself and having a great time on the golf course. The worst thing you can do is hit hybrids and long irons until your approach shots on par fours. And if you're playing from 180 to 235 yards on your par threes, what is going to be your chances to score? You have to give yourself opportunities to score. Tiger Woods used to say that he wanted to pick the par fives. If he picked the par fives to score on, then he said he know he could play really well. Everybody has something they pick. I normally like to play the par threes to try to pick up a stroke on my playing partners because I'm a good long iron player. So I like playing the longer holes because I it gives me an advantage over most people. That's something I do personally. But start playing from the proper tee box. It's gonna make a world of difference. Right here it's 398 yards on this hole. OB left, OB right. Houses on both sides, pop bunkers up the left side and little pop bunkers on the right and a lake up in front of the green. If you try to play this hole from the tips, you're gonna leave yourself with a long iron, forced approach over water. Most of us are not gonna be able to hit that shot. If you play from the proper tee box, you'll be up there anywhere and be able to hit a mid iron or even a short iron. Pick the proper tee boxes. Throw your ego out the window. Use your course management. I guarantee you your scores are gonna start going down and your enjoyment of the game will go up. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. It's about your enjoyment of the game. The more you enjoy the game, the more confidence you get, the better you'll become, the more consistent ball striker you'll become. Take these things into consideration. Leave your ego in the car. Come to the golf course humble, full of humility, and I guarantee you, your choice of your game and the way you play it would change. I mean, I can't emphasize it enough. I see people all the time out here playing the wrong tee boxes and struggling and saying they shot 100, 100 plus. Well, if you scoot up a little bit more, you won't keep them long irons and hybrids in your hands. You have more chances to score. You won't be chipping and putting all day long. You know, give yourself a chance. Play the proper tee boxes. It makes a difference. Here's a couple of things you can do. We play a game called tee box. Whoever wins the hole, they get to choose the tee box you play from. So it keeps the course different, it makes it fun, and it's very enjoyable. Another game you can play, you can start off on one tee box, on the next hole you scoot up a tee box, and you scoot up another tee box, and you just recycle through that. That's another extremely fun game. It also teaches you course management and it teaches you how to play holes differently because now you're playing from a different tee box way up there and you're normally playing from back here. That's another choice you can play. Have fun on the golf course. When you're having fun, your score is going to do better. If you're not having fun, you're going to struggle. I see guys throwing clubs and all kind of things on the golf course and most of it's because they're playing from the wrong tee boxes. Another thing it does, it slows the course down. 
The reason courses are backlogged is because of about two or three reasons. Not knowing the rules of the game, the lateral drop rules, the OB rules, playing from the wrong tee boxes, and thinking everybody's Tiger Woods. Make a decision, take a swing, and enjoy the game. But most of all, play from your right tee box. Absolutely smoke that ball. Let's go up here and check it out. So like I said, this hole is like 390 yards. It's about 57, 58 degrees, depending on which way you are with the wind. You know, you see the trees, it, it changes the hole. It can benefit you or it can take away from you. I average anywhere from 277 to 290, 295 yards. You know, I generate a lot of club head speed right, right before impact because I play an efficient premium setup. So it doesn't look like I'm swinging hard, but I'm hitting the ball in the center of the club face, which is allowing the ball to jump off. And I'm also in playing with the good shaft angle of attack. All of those things allow me to play some really, 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 really good, decent shots out here. Okay, so here's my ball. All righty. Let's come over here and see what we are. Wow, the 150 way back there. Wow. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Okay, so I have 125 with a force carry over the water on a 390 yard hole. That's what this game is all about. So my tee shot made my game more manageable because I was playing from a tee box that I can play from. Everybody's not gonna be able to play from those back tees. Now, if I was only hitting the ball 230, 240 yards, I would scoot up, I'm telling you right now. I would scoot up to a to a to a to an area that is going to allow me to hit a mid iron or a short iron to the green. You have to play from your right tee box. That's all about course management. Absolutely smoke that ball. All right, so I hit a big old draw. I started right at the center of the green. I mean, it was just a beautiful shot. It jumped off the club face. But it all was because I'm playing from the tee box that benefits me. Now, somebody else, you might be trying to play from 390 yards you only hit the ball 200 yards. That's, think about that. If you only hit the ball 200 to 210 yards off the tee box, that is your average. 200 to 210 yards off the tee box. So at 390 yards, what you're doing, they're going to force carry, what you're doing is forcing yourself to hit anywhere from 170 to 190 yards on your next shot, which is just insane. I mean, why punish yourself? There's the pin, here's the ball. So that's a nice shot. Got a little sloping green. I played from way back there, but the key is I chose the right tee box. So take that into consideration. Start keeping track of your approach shots. That's one of the things I do, I keep a a um, record of my approach shots on every round. When you go home, look and see what your main approach shots were. 
If you win the nine irons, eight irons, and seven irons, you're probably playing from the right tees. If your approach shots are four irons, five irons, five hybrids, and three hybrids, you're not playing from the correct tees, okay? Scoot up and play from the proper tees. Smash that like button, subscribe, hit that little bell. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Most of all, keep grinding. And leave your comments below about when you play the course and afterwards you knew you played from the correct tee box or the wrong tee box. Take care. Keep grinding. Hundred and fifty seven yards, water on the right. Typical situation, you know, it's OB out here. Wherever you got houses, it's always OB. I took the crank rage three wood. Nice controlled shot. I should, I'm telling you, I may have a hundred yards when we get up there. It was 100% about control shot on this hoe, which on every hoe, I try to swing to what I call a controlled finish. I feel if you focus on just completing a controlled finish, nine times out of 10, you're gonna hit some really, really decent shots. You're not gonna have no what I call um, weird shots out here coming off the club face row are incorrect but first you know you have to go to the practice tee and ingrain whatever you're trying to work on once you get that ingrained and you trust it then i'm telling you everything else is just coming to the golf course on the day you plan and practicing in it and believing in it all right so here's the 150 marker And here's the, right here. So, all right, so great, not bad. So I, I, I have about 109 yards to the pin, actually to the front of the green. The green, the, the flag is a red flag today. So it's gonna be to the front of the green. And we have water on the left on this one. So you can't pull it, you can't have no kind of a, um, Pool shot. You have water on the left and bunkers on the right. All right, so we're gonna just take a little, um, how about 110? I'm gonna take you, with the weather being a little bit chillier today, normally this will be a gap wedge for me. But since the weather has dropped to about 61, 62 degrees, I'm going to take a three-quarter pitching wedge. Um, the Ben Hogan equalizer, actually. You know, he didn't call it a pitching wedge. He called it an equalizer because it was the club that no matter how good you were, how long you were, it was the club that could bring everybody back together if you practiced and worked on it. So that's why it's the equalizer. So I'm going to take an equalizer up here. Okay, so we'll go up here and check that out. Let me fix this divot. And I had to go get some sand. I didn't have no sand on my other shot. All right. So nice little course management on a short hole. You know, I hit a three wood off the tee box. And then I just hit, um, there's the water right here. Hold on. Okay, so you can't hit a, you can't do nothing with a pull shot, because you know, like I said, you can't play out of water, okay? So I mean, you just can't do nothing at all 
with a, with a full shot. All right, so then, so I hit a little nice little equalizer. Pins on the front, like I said, and my ball checked up pretty nice. That's my ball, and we say, that's not bad. It's with 15 feet. I like to get a, you know, an equalizer, a wedge to within 10 feet. So that's really about five feet outside the window that I like to work toward. But that's just a little quick course vlog about short making decisions on a short par four for me. I just took a three wood off the tee and then I had a little equalizer, a wedge in my hand. The pin was in the front. I had a nice little control three quarter shot and I'm sitting up here for a chance for birdie. So that's just part of being course management. And I always like sharing course management vlogs for the people out there, okay? Take care, keep grinding. Par three, 143 yards, force carry over water. My bunker on the left and a little bailout on the right. Take a nine iron. Well, you know what? Course management. It's about 61, 62 degrees. There is a little wind in the air. I see the wind picking up. This is what we call a tunnel shoot hole. So you may only see a little bit of wind here, but once you hit out there, that wind is gonna pick you up coming through that little valley right there. So normally in the summer, I can hit a nine iron here, but you know what? I'm going to use everything I just put into the equation and I'm going to create club up and go up to an 8 iron. So this is what we're going to do. Ben Hogan Apex blade. We clubbed up to the 8 iron because of the conditions. That's part of course management. I'm still going to hit the same shot. I'm going to try to start it on the right side of the green. And just hit my normal draw and draw it back toward the center of the green. Ooh. Okay. Great adjustment. I'm talking. From here, it looks like I'm about six feet from the pin. We'll go over there and check it out. Really good ball flight. Um, I made an adjustment because of the temperature, because of the wind that's out here. And I just, and now that, look at that flag standing straight up now. Like I said, see, we, it's, a, it's, like a, it's like a tunnel shoot over there. And I just knew that I had to club up with the conditions that we have out here you know in the gulf coast i mean you're always playing and win you just got to get used to that accustomed to that you're always playing and win but you need to make adjustments while you're out here that's a strange looking bird what kind of bird that is wow what is that what kind of bird is that he got stuck with some food in his mouth and don't know what to do with it, huh? Isn't that something? Strange. Okay, well, let's go over here and look at the ball. All righty. So that's the pin. Like I said, it was on the right-hand side. And I started about right here, you know, about a foot or two off the green. And then I hit my little three or four-yard standard draw shot. And here's the, here's the ball right here. I mean, nice. That's the pin. And you, I couldn't ask for no more than that. All right. So at the end of the day, course management is going to lower your scores and is going to give you a chance to score. Now, if I would have hit that nine iron, you know, with that wind picking up, I may be in the water or I may be having to use a chip in the putt. So I clubbed up because of the wind, the temperature, and a few other things. Smash that like button. I hope you like this three hole vlog. I know it's a little bit longer than my normal videos that I do, but I like to do some, you know, course vlogs also just to show people on the course how to manage out there. Take care, keep grinding.